Okay, the objective in this video uh, is to um, do some mass mole molecule calculations. And um, the model compound that uh, we're going to work with is, a, is an ionic compound that's called magnesium nitrate. So let's get the formula for magnesium nitrate um, on the screen here. And okay, so I called this an ionic compound. It's, we, it's an ionic compound because it contains a metal along with nonmetals. <clears throat> The reason that I'm picking on this compound is because uh, unlike some of the other compounds that we worked with in previous videos, this one's a little bit more complex because um, the compound itself has got uh, what we call uh, a group 2 cation in it, so it has a charge of plus 2 and it has been paired up with a polyanion which is called uh, nitrate and uh, nitrate has a negative one charge on it and so in the formula there are actually two nitrate molecules and you can see that in the way the formula was set up because there's a parentheses and we know that there's two nitrates in there based on the two that appears right here I'll put a red arrow next to that so the point is the formula is a, a little bit more complex all right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to calculate. We're going to calculate the, the uh, formula units or molecules. So we're going to calculate the formula units or molecules. in one gram of magnesium nitrate. That's the goal. And it's important because of the terminology in chemistry, and I'm, I'm using this term de <clears throat> deliberately, a formula unit works exactly the same way as a molecule. Usually, if you're dealing with an ionic compound, we talk about formula units instead of molecules and that's a subject for a different video <clears throat> but I want to use the term interchangeably here so you get a sense that they mean the same thing and essentially they do so how do we calculate the molecules in one gram of magnesium nitrate alright so we're going to use unit multiplier method and what I'm going to do is uh, pull down the information that I'm given. So we've got one gram of magnesium nitrate. I'm going to rewrite the formula. And we want to calculate the molecules. Now, this is going to be a two-step process. And what I'm going to do down here is I'm going to give you a rubric. So we're starting with grams. And in order to get to molecules, first we have to calculate the moles. Uh, the moles of the magnesium nitrate and then in the second step we go from moles to molecules alright and we're gonna need um, two unit multipliers uh, to succeed in this problem we're gonna need number one molar mass of the magnesium nitrate and the second thing we're gonna need is Avogadro's number and I'm gonna abbreviate that as N sub A Avogadro's number, which is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, and that's, I'm going to call it just plain units. It can be molecules, atoms, apples, oranges, whatever. It's kind of, the, the concept is like a dozen, only in the case of atoms and molecules, we need a, a number that's a lot bigger than 12. So coming back up to the problem, we've got 1 gram MgNO3. And in the first step, we want to go from mass to mole. So we're going to actually be dividing by the molar mass to achieve that. So I'm going to put one mole in the numerator, or the top of this fraction. Now, to find the molar mass of magnesium nitrate, we're going to sum the atomic masses 
The atomic mass for uh, magnesium is uh, 24.31. And that's going to be added to the total molar mass of the nitrate that's in the compound. Now, the nitrogen in the nitrate is, its atomic mass is 14.01. Uh, and that's going to be added to the three oxygens, which are worth 16 apiece. So the grand total for everything that's within the parentheses is 62.01. That's what's in the parentheses inside here. So we need to take the 62.01 and we need to multiply it by 2. And when we do that, we get a total of uh, 124. That's the mass of the total nitrate that's in this compound. And now we need to add that to the mass of the magnesium, which is 24.31. So the total molar mass of the magnesium nitrate is 148.33. So we place that value down here in the bottom of the fraction, the proper unit. And here we see that the grams are going to cancel with the grams. All right, so we're going to take the one gram of magnesium nitrate and we divide it by 148.33. All right, and the value that we're going to get is going to be 0 0.0067 moles of the magnesium nitrate. All right, so let's just drop back down here to the rubric. And to be really clear about it, what we did in the first step is we divided by the molar mass. So I'm going to write that down underneath my arrow here to remind me that when I go from mass to moles in a, in a chemical calculation, mass to moles, that I have to divide by the molar mass. OK, now we're ready for the second step. And this is where we're going to need Avogadro's number. All right. If we look at the units of Avogadro's number, we see that um, that it equals Avogadro's number equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, and then I've written units per mole. In this case, we're solving for uh, molecules or formula units, so that's going to be the value that's in the top of the fraction, and then it's per mole, and this is the value that's going to cancel out. So coming back up here, we're going to write in. Avogadro's number in the top of the fraction. And just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to use molecules here. I could have written formula units if I wanted. I could have written particles if I wanted. Or I even could have just used the word units. All right, now, looking closely at this, you can see what's happened the moles that are here are canceling the moles that are here. And <clears throat> we have now solved for molecules. All right, so I'm going to write that down. All right, and uh, the, the total number of molecules in one gram of magnesium nitrate are going to be 4.06 times 10 and then it's going to be 21 is the exponent so in one gram of magnesium nitrate there's 4 times 10 to the 21st um, molecules of magnesium nitrate 